Good morning, Big Spring. I'm Hannah. And I'm Haley. And we're here with your Channel 3 News. Haven't signed up for the Minithon Donor Drive yet? Then you're going to want to see this. Setting up your Minithon Donor Drive is a great way to keep track of the money you've raised for Minithon. To do this, go on to the Four Diamonds Donor Drive website and click Find an Event. Then search your school to find the event. Once you have done that, you can see how much other students have raised within your school so far. You can set up your own page. With this page, you can track all the donations you have raised so far, send out donor emails, tweets, and Facebook messages. You can also personalize your page so the people who view it know what Four Diamonds means to you. If you haven't set up your donor drive yet, it is a great way to show the school your mini fun spirit while having an easy way to keep track of the money you will raise. Remember, Big Spring, it's for the kids. Club Care is hosting hair donations at Minithon. The requirements to donate are, have at least 8 inches of hair you are willing to donate. Hair must be clean, dry, and in a ponytail or braid. Any hair type is accepted as long as it is in good condition. This includes colored, gray, or chemically treated hair. Donation forms can be found in room 337 and can be turned back in before Minithon or be bought the night of. This will take place in the adaptive gym first thing that night. The Spanish word of the week is El Trebol, which means clover. We are looking for that four-leaf clover as we head towards St. Patrick's Day. Changes have come to the one-stop dog shop, and they're having a sale. Hey guys, let's go check out the one-stop dog shop. Attention Bulldogs, some exciting changes have come to the one-stop dog shop, including lights and music. We are also excited to announce that we are having a buy one get one free sale on apparel only. Come down to the one-stop dog shop during a and lunches on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays to get a cool free shirt with your apparel purchase. If you're interested in finding out more about the Pulse program, pay, pay close attention to this. Now to Avery with your sports. We talk for hours and hours about the sweet and the sour and how your family's doing okay. And even getting a taxi, kissing the back. Good morning, Big Spring. I'm here with your Channel 3 Sports. Today in sports scores, the regional bocce ball competition took place Tuesday with 10 teams competing. Big Spring received fourth place. This first season was successful and Bulldogs ended with a 2-1 to one record. What we're doing is trying to see who gets closest to the Polina, which is, is the yellow ball on that court. And so they roll their ball, um, and whichever's closer gets the point. So right now, um, green is closer. So red, red, you want to roll? Hey, I'm Jesse Laird and I'm a senior. I'm a part of the bocce ball team. What do you think about the new addition to Big Spring? I think it's really awesome. I'm really hoping that next year a lot more people will come and try it out and just give it a try. I think the bocce ball team is okay. Me and Robert, I'm actually a player of the bocce ball team. So in total, there are six players. Me and Robert are mostly primarily coaches though for the bocce team. So we kind of help the guys out and as far as like telling them what to do. We're doing pretty good this year. The swimmers went to districts this weekend. The boys placed 7th, the girls placed 14th. A special shout out to Matthew Radabaugh, who will be seated 21st in the states for 100 breaststrokes. He will be traveling to Bucknell University for the AA State Championship meet from March 12th to 14th. Many other swimmers improved their standings as well, including Brendan Morris Dice, Quentin Egger, Ian Lay, and Dane Valley. 
Congratulations to the following basketball players. Laney Norica made first team All-Stars. Emily Sullivan, Gavin Pritchard, and Matt Ward made second team All-Stars. And an honorable mention goes to Allie Frick. If there's anyone interested in today for playing varsity football next year, the meeting will be held during C-Flex in the LGR. Please sign up in flex time. Also, if you cannot attend the meeting, please see Mr. Sinkovich in the athletic office. Don't forget that this Saturday is Ca Club Cares annual charity dodgeball tournament. Come out and enjoy the fun starting at 3 p.m. You know what this is? This is a stress ball. Let me show you how to use it. Thank you, Big Spring. This was your Channel 3 Sports. Now to Ethan with your weather. Hi, I'm Ethan with your weather. Today will be sunny with the high will be 36. The winds will be 20 to 30 miles per hour with gusts up to 60 miles per hour. The winds will die down tonight. Tomorrow, it will be partly cloudy and less windy. The high will be 36 again. Look to the end of the week for, of the, on Friday. There will be a possibility of snow. Not a Michael with a quiz question. This question about music. Which day of the week has the most hit songs written about it? A, Monday, B, Saturday, C, Sunday, D, Friday? <laughs> And the answer is C, Sunday. There are at least 30 hit songs about this day of the week. Thank you. See you next time. Farewell. The South Central Pennsylvania Area Health Education Center and Mount Aloysius College are sponsoring the 17th Annual Health Careers Awareness Camp for students entering grades 9 through 12 for the 2019-2020 school year. The camp will be held on the campus of the Mount Aloysius College on July 14th through July 19th, 2019. Students who have an interest in a health career or those who would like to learn more about various health careers are invited to attend. For more information, see the summer program binder in the counseling office. Check out our articles at www.bshspawprint.com. Follow us on Facebook at BSHS Newsroom, Twitter at BSHSCH3, and with the snap code BSHS Mass Media. You can also sign up to receive text message alerts for important announcements by texting at BSHS ANN to 81010.